Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pinion. I'm bringing you today's word for October 6, 2015. This message is part of a series entitled Grace-Based Success, where we, for months now, have been learning how to win in life, but how to do it God's way. By his unearned and amazing grace takes the pressure off of us, this pressure to perform. And now we're not working for the grace of God. We are working by the grace of God and we get to win in life because God's grace is on us and in us and with us and for us. So we've been studying the life of the apostle Peter. Our study of his life brought us to Matthew chapter 15. And so yesterday I I shared a passage with you in Matthew chapter 15. We covered verses one through 20. I want to go back to that today. And so this is Matthew 15, one through 20. The title of today's message is stop focusing on rules. So, uh, This passage really deals with uh, an interaction or almost like an altercation that Jesus had with the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. They were upset with Jesus because they were watching him. They were always watching him like a hawk and they saw how he and his disciples were walking. And and so as they were walking, they kind of picked some food and they ate some food while they were walking and they didn't take the time to wash their hands first. So they were upset with Jesus for not washing his hands and and, and for allowing his disciples to eat without washing their hands first. And so they were just focused on on rules. Jesus got upset. Jesus called them hypocrites. He said, listen, you remind me of what the Lord said through Isaiah when the Lord said, these people honor me with their words, but their hearts are far from me. They worship, their worship of me is worthless. The things they teach are only human rules. Jesus then said, listen and understand what I'm saying. It is not what people put into their mouths that makes them wrong. Yeah, you might say uh, that's making me wrong because I didn't wash my hands. Man, it's not even about that at all. He said, it is what comes out of your mouth that makes you wrong. Why? Because your mouth is exposing the content and the, ca- the quality, the character of your heart. So later on, uh, you know, but he just left it at that. He gave no explanation. And so later on, uh, uh, after everything was over, Peter, I like how Peter is always really wanting to grow. And that's what we focused in on yesterday. But Peter came to him and said, Jesus, can you please explain to us what what you meant when you said what you said to those people? And Jesus, I think, was still hot. You know, I mean, you could just even in the in his response, you could still kind of sense the tension. He was still upset about it. And Jesus said. Do you still have trouble understanding? Surely, you know. That food that enters the mouth goes to the stomach and then it goes out of the body. But the bad things that people say with their mouth comes from the way they think. That's what can make people wrong. All these bad things begin in the mind. Evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual sins, stealing, lying and insulting people. These are the things that make people wrong. Eating without washing the hands would never make people unacceptable to God. Come on now. Eating without washing your hands, really? Really? Is that, is that what people are focused in on today? Really? Are people really just so f- caught up on little rules that they can't see that there are bigger things to walking with God? So what does this mean to you today? Um, Listen, uh, th- what he said, what Jesus said, there are layers and layers and layers of revelation there. And so I'm probably going to deal with that statement for a while, for days, maybe even weeks. But for today, I just want to focus in on rules versus grace. I want to focus in on uh, 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 the fact that you got to stop focusing on rules. It's not about rules. And, and I know that there are some Christians, hopefully not you, that are so focused on rules that they're trying to do everything right and then they're pointing out to everybody else all the things that they're doing wrong. So the message today is simple. Stop focusing on rules. Five things to share with you. Let's get into them. Number one. Now, don't take it from me. I'm going to give you Bible on it. So here we go. Number one. No one could ever be made right with God by attempting to keep the law. No one. Paul said, and this is Galatians 3, verses 10 through 12. Don't, Don't believe me. Listen to what the Bible says. People who depend on following the law to make them right are under a curse. Is that you? Paul goes on to say, as the scriptures say, they must do everything that's written in the law. If they do not always obey, then they're under a curse. So it is, it is clear that no one can be made right with God by the law. So if you try to take on a portion of the law, you got to do the whole law. You got to do it all. And if you, if you break the law in any way, any little portion, you're wrong. So the scriptures say the one who is right with God by faith 
will live forever. So now I'm right with God by faith, not because I'm keeping the law. He goes on to say the law does not depend on faith. No, it says that the only way a person will find life by the law is to obey its commands. The law says we are under a curse for not always obeying it. But Christ took away that curse. He, Jesus, changed places with us and he put himself under that curse for us. So Jesus took our place. Jesus put on the curse for us. See, rules can't make you right. Think about that for a minute. Rules can only show you when you're wrong. The Pharisees were focused on rules. Jesus looked past external rules and he peered into the conditions of men's hearts. Number two, the purpose of the law was not to make you right, but rather to show you how wrong you are. Oh, you don't believe me? I'm giving you Bible, Romans 3 and verse 20. The Bible says, for no one can ever be made right with God by doing what the law commands. That's what the Bible says. No one can ever be made right with God by doing what the law commands. The Bible says the law simply shows us how sinful we are. Romans 3 and 20. The law simply shows you how sinful you are. The purpose of the law was to prove to men that we're not good enough, that we need a savior. Well, guess what? That savior came and his name is Jesus. Number three, when the law was given, people became more conscious of sin. The law is holy and perfect because it came from God. However, people could not keep the law. That's why we need grace. So in Romans 5 and 20, the Bible says God's law was given so that people could see how sinful they were. That's why the law was given. But as people sinned more and more, God's wonderful grace became more abundant. See, the law is so perfect that you and I as humans can never keep it. That's why we need grace. But And where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. Number four, Jesus came to fulfill the law that we never could. So uh, Jesus said in Matthew 5 and 17, do not think that I came to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Jesus did what we could not. We are righteous now. Not because of what we do or not, not because of what we fail to do. We are only righteous because of what Jesus did. Number five and finally, Jesus freed you from the bondage of the law. I don't know. I don't know if you're a law minded person, a believer who, who's just so focused on the law and focused on the rules. If that's you, listen, you need to be free from that because you can never uh, maximize your purpose and potential being law minded or works minded. You need to be grace minded and free yourself to become and to do everything God has called you to do. Romans 6 and 14, the Bible says sin shall no longer be your master because you're not under the law. You're under grace. Listen to me, believer. The Bible just said to you, Romans 6 and 14, you are not under the law. You are under grace. God does not require you to live every second of every day trying to complete a set of rules which no human could ever complete anyway. God now, through the finished work of Jesus on the cross, enables and expects you to be led of the Spirit. Your job now is to live your life from the inside out under the freedom and the power of God's amazing grace. So stop focusing on rules. Close, let's close out this message with a declaration of faith. Speak this over your life. Embrace the grace of God and walk in the freedom that Christ Jesus died to give you. Speak this in faith. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your amazing grace. And also my requirement to live by faith. You gave Israel a perfect law. It was a law so perfect that no normal human could ever fulfill it. The only human to ever fulfill the law of Moses was the only perfect human to ever live. Jesus knew I could not fulfill the law of Moses. So he fulfilled it for me. Jesus knew I, I would never be perfect. So Jesus was perfect for me. Jesus knew I could never be righteous. So Jesus was righteous for me. Jesus fulfilled the requirement. And his fulfillment, his perfection, and his righteousness were all transferred to me. When I put on Christ by accepting Jesus as my Lord, I accept and embrace Jesus. Jesus paid it all and he paid it for me. Not because I earned it, not because I deserve it, not because I could ever be good enough. 
Jesus died for me by grace. I accept his finished work and I accept it by faith. I now live my life by faith that it might be by grace. I live my life in honor of Jesus's death because he died for me. Now, I will succeed in life. I will accomplish what I was born to do. I will leave a mark in this world that will not be erased. But I won't do it because I'm so good. I will only do it because you're so good. I will do it by your grace. First, your grace saved me. Now, your grace empowers me. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Sign up. You get the messages. There will be a blessing to you. And as you head into this day, the message is simple. Stop focusing on rules. Embrace the grace of God and you will never be the same. God bless you.